Now, it is one of the world's most famous works of art, and today a rare lithograph of Edvard Munch's The Scream goes on display at the British Museum. It is part of the largest UK exhibition of the Norwegian artist's work, which opens to the public today. Well, David Silito has been along to take a look. It's just one of those images, and here it is greeting you on the steps of the British Museum. The Scream. This exhibition of Edvard Munch's many prints is a clue to why it's so well known. Because this was an artist who made copies, different versions. There are a number of screams. This is just one of them. What's important to remember is we're not seeing a scream. This figure is hearing one. Munch described it as an infinite scream passing through nature, which is why it's become emblematic of the world pressing in on you, an age of anxiety. This exhibition is a total immersion into that world. The acid thrower, the dead mother, it's a panorama of emotional disquiet. And for the museum, the current national mood feels apt. So why now? Why this particular moment? Well, I think for the moment, I think it speaks of all of our feelings in terms of our, the crisis, political crisis we're feeling. But it also is a very human image that uh, it, it, it's about that you know, the nature is telling us that everything leads to death and we have to confront that. And Munch continually confronted that and continually addressed that in his art. As an artist, his mother had died very early, his beloved sister had died very early, and he kept on replaying these feelings again and again and again and using those as an inspiration for his art. Does it feel like a particularly fitting Munch moment? Oh, totally. This is... This is peak monk, I think. Um, you know, if we're not feeling the screen now, we'll never feel it. So, a study of despair and anxiety from more than a hundred years ago, but one that feels very now. This, after all, is an artwork with its own emoji. You don't get much more contemporary than that. David Solito, BBC News, British Museum.